done and complete one way, so let's try to solder the, the other side a different way. Now, you're probably not going to have a fine tip or you're not experienced enough at soldering, so you wouldn't be able to do what I did here, although I think it's really easy. You can try it first. But let's say you try to do it, but I'm going to do here. I'm going to put too much solder like you will probably do. Like I want to ruin it, and I, I, I can't. <laughs> I'm used to doing it perfect. So, um, okay, so I put too much solder here, and I soldered the pins. Let's say you did this side, and this is how it turned out. And this is okay. Now, if you try to say, oh, well, Gus suggested I can just brush the pins. I'll top this out, clean the solder off this, and brush the pins. You can try this. Actually, you should do that. Try this first. See if you can get the solder off. So I'm going to go through the whole thing. And 90% of this, or 80% of it, is, is really good, all these pins. You have some extra solder here, and some extra solder right here. And that's is, uh, let me fix this. Oh, this is really hard to see. Okay, so I tried, really, you don't, you don't, don't overheat it. Just do it a couple times. Oh, it came off, perfect. So do it a couple of times. If it comes out and it, the, the the tip sucks it in, then that's good. So so now we have all the side good. We only have the end here. I'm not gonna try to get it out because I want to I want to show you how you can fix it. Um, the way you fix this is by using a solder wick, which is just some uh, braided copper. Um, so you can see it. And and this is what I do. I put this down, set this down, put the tip on it, and push slightly down. Now, this is very difficult. So, push on the tip down, so now I can move it. See, I can, I'm, it's like I'm, move, I'm wiping the table. Right, you have a piece of cloth, you're wiping the table. So I have a piece of copper, and I'm wiping the um, the solder off. So see, I can move freely now. I can now the copper. I bet you is really really hot right now. And when it touches the the solder, it's just, it's just gonna suck it in. So can you see it? Okay. So I really can't reach with with the lens in here. So so just. Don't push too hard. Just touch it and release. Now, you don't want to get it all out because you want the pins to be connected, right? You, want, you don't want the pins to be disconnected. You don't want to get rid of the solder. Just barely so you get the pins out, uh, get some solder out. Uh, now it's all out. It's good. But actually, you don't have to take it all the way out. If you do some, uh, some with the solder wick and you get some off, but there's a little bit of short, like two pins that are connected, you can easily just brush it like we did before. Okay. Uh, the last thing you want to do when you're done is you've been looking at the, um, let's see if I can get the light out of the way. So you've been looking at the pins this way, making sure they're good, but sometimes there's solder right on the side, not down. So they're not shorted here, but there is a short right here. So you do this, you look at the pins under a magnifier, you make sure they're not connected, they're not, you're good to go. So we have two sides connected, and I just have to do the other sides and finish it up. And when it's, when it's done, it's going to look all pretty just like this. And uh, I hope this uh, video will help you guys. Thanks.